Welcome to DowerChin.com. All right, today we're going to be taking a look at a, another accessory, and this one is from StarTech.com. And this is basically a three port multi monitor mini display port to display port uh, adapter. And so, what this thing supposedly lets you do is actually hook up, well, uh, multiple monitors uh, through a display port, a mini display port. That's actually a very, very kind of a cool idea. So, let's take a look what we get in the box. All right, so we get a whole lot of connectors here. Okay, this looks like a, all right, you have various different ends for a power supply. So it's kind of cool. So just from this one thing, you can basically go overseas to say Hong Kong with this one, or I think uh, Europe with this one possibly. And the one I'm most interested in is this one for the US. So that's kind of cool. So you get all that in there. Uh, let's see, then you have, manual down here buried under here and the actual device itself let's take a look at this thing's got and how this is i get it out of the bag oh it's sealed up all right okay let me seal it okay let's see all right so we see here here's the mini display port and it goes out to basically three additional display ports so you know, on the, you're going to have to need a display port adapters if you want to hook up to monitors that don't require display port, uh, which, uh, well, unfortunately might be an extra cost for you. It kind of depends. So we're going to, I'm going to see what I got. We can take a look at it. Uh, we have here, uh, let's see, scan mode here and the uh, power supply input. So we're going to see what this does. All right. So what we have here now is plugged in and we see that the three display ports are available and I'm going to be using this adapter it is a display port to DVI adapter and the reason why I'm going to use it is because uh, the display port cables I have for whatever reason are actually kind of broken so I have a couple of them I have three of these guys and they all go out to my DVI and so I'm going to plug them in just like that So there we go. So they're plugged in, as you can see. So there's the unit with all the cables dangling off of it. And so what we do now is, and there's the mini display port. I'm gonna plug it in and see what it does. Okay, so I have my Surface Pro 3 here with three ISO uh, displays that I have lying around the office. They're 1600 by 1200. I'm gonna turn the Surface Pro on. All right, so you can see here now, I'm gonna plug it in. Now I set this up beforehand, and so you'll see, uh, note it, it'll take a moment, and all three displays will turn on. Now one thing you can't do is you cannot have the Surface Pro display on as well as three displays coming out of the display port. But as you can see, each one is a separate display, and uh, you know, basically it's extended desktops on all three of them. And so, and you can see that by, with, by you know, three separate world wallpapers. Go into display settings, you'll see that there's four monitors shown, and the fourth one's off. And basically, that's because the Surface Pro display can't be on with all three. So, I'm going to open some programs up now. So, we'll go and open up Visual Studio here. And then I will now open up Google Chrome, for example. Yeah. I'll move it over. And then I'll just open up the debugging tools as another example. We'll have that off on the other display. There we go. Okay, so there we are. So you see I have three applications running. So I have my Visual Studio on one, Chrome, and debugger tools on another one. So it's great. So now I'm going to try it out with some more uh, HD displays. Okay, so here in my setup now, I have three Dell uh, HD 1920 by 1080 displays. So I just plugged it in, and as you can see, the displays take a little bit to set up now. Now this setup is new. Uh, I had not done this prior, and so it doesn't know about these displays, and so therefore I have to go to the display settings, and you'll see that um, it might be kind of hard to see on the screen, but it's mirrored this uh, this first and uh, the first display with my Surface Pro 3. And so the trick, though, now is I need to try to rearrange them and disable 
the Surface Pro 3 display so I can you know, get them to extend. So the one thing you don't see me doing, unfortunately, because I had to ex uh, zoom back out so far so you can see the three displays, is I'm in the display settings and I'm actually toggling uh, some of them, uh, some of the settings for the other displays that are actually disabled right now to turn them on and extend the desktop to each of those. At the same time, I'm also trying to uh, disable the Surface Pro 3 display. So initially, uh, you know, I had to do the same thing with the ISO displays. Uh, so you, you obviously didn't not see that uh, prior, but because um, I had done that uh, before recording the, the first part of the video. So here, you know, I'm showing you know, sort of a, a sort of try and trial and error uh, just to initially set it up. Now, once you do this, though, it actually once you plug it in, it sort of remembers. So, so you don't have to do, you don't have to worry about doing this all the time. Okay, so this setting now, so I got the three displays to show up, and Surface Pro 3 displays off, because you know, uh, once again, it cannot have three displays and the Surface Pro 3 display uh, running. And see, so they're kind of numbered. Uh, so three and four is kind of conglomerated together. It's kind of weird. I'm not really quite clear on how the numbering is, but that's kind of how it's set up. Uh, I have the positions wrong, though. Uh, so the monitor is not in the right position. So I need to kind of go back to the display settings and shuffle them. And I believe this is this is uh, still not quite right. So I'll move this one over again. So this one should do it. Hit apply. And there. Okay, so this setting is correct now. So uh, there you are. So three settings, three different displays. And now I'm going to run some programs. Once again, I'm going to run Visual Studio. Run Chrome. And so I'm going to Visual Studio over to this window here. Make a new window. I'm going to move that over to the other window. And uh, bring the developer tools up. And move that over to that window, and just pull up uh, my website on this window here. And there you have it. And it shows up. So there you are, three HD displays uh, from this little display port adapter. This is great. So and there you have it. A look at StarTex made mini display port to three monitor display port adapter uh, or they come kind of like to call the MST MDP 123 DP adapter uh, some final comments about this thing is that um, you know uh, the, the, the um, max resolution uh, that you can drive with these things is from what they tell me is two displays that are 2560 by 1600 and then a solitary 1920 by 1200 uh, monitor uh, it would have been nice if I could drive four displays, but you know some of the things you can do. So basically, from this, you know, with, with this little solitary adapter, what's nice about it is then from my Surface Pro 3, um, which obviously you don't have a whole lot of ports to play with, uh, the one solitary display port over here, I can actually extend up to three displays. Now, well, well up to two displays, uh, including this one, or three separate displays and not this one. So um, it's nice to have that kind of option. And the, then the ability also to, that it leaves the solitary USB 3 port uh, open for other things. So one final comment also is that you now these were adapters that are basically a display port to D DVI adapters I have lying around the office. And uh, the one thing you can also do is some of the monitors, not all monitors have DVI uh, nowadays. and well, some do, a lot of them do, and then some have HDMI, and so I have actually one in the office like that. And so what I did with this one, it does work, is I have one of these little, basically, display port to the DVI, and then straight out to uh, HDMI. Uh, so doing it this way still works. And uh, at work then, for in reality, when I really do work, I have this display uh, on the Surface Pro 3 uh, driving a, a 1920 by 1200 
uh, display uh, the, uh, with, uh, with one of these guys and the other one over here driving a, a little bit of a smaller one so I can have once again three displays uh, while I work on the surface. So, um, so it's quite nice and so as, as you know, for, for final words being is that if you're looking for a nice little simple thing that uses one port that basically allows you to uh, extend the Surface Pro 3 to multiple displays, it's not a bad option. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.